Sinamune from Owele Timor recalls the days when floods and droughts used to damage rice production. Back then, droughts and floods would often mean shortages of food. Today, things have changed for Sina. With CARE's support, the community has diversified its agricultural production. They are no longer only planting rice. Healthy tomatoes, eggplants, salads, chilies, and green beans can be found in a community-owned vegetable garden watered by an irrigation system. The community has also built an embankment to prevent recurrent floods from damaging rice production. The community is using bamboo sticks to prevent erosion of the embankment walls. Sina has two children. When the oldest finished secondary school, the family couldn't afford to send him to university. It was a harsh time. Today, Sina also has chickens and earns some money from making clothes. Jadi tanggul-tanggul ini yang dibuat di atas, di sini, ke sana, ini untuk mengatur air ke arah utara, selatan secara adil dan merata untuk menuju kepada kesejahteraan seluruh warga petani. Subsistence rain-fed agriculture is practiced by around 80% of the population of Nusa Tenggara Timur, better known as NTT, a province in the eastern part of the Indonesian archipelago. Communities are highly dependent on the rain to irrigate their fields and for their water resources. Scientific evidence has shown that NTT is already facing changes in rainfall patterns. Rain has become more erratic and unpredictable, resulting in greater uncertainty about when to plant and harvest. Peak rainfall in the rainy season has become more extreme, increasing flood and landslide risks. This type of climate is a regular cause for farmers to lose all their production, placing many at risk of food insecurity, which leads to a decline in assets such as seeds, cloths, and small livestock, since these are often sold during times of food shortages. Changes in rainfall patterns, floods, droughts, and landslides are not the only changes experienced by NTT farmers and fishermen. Biodiversity loss and coastal erosion have also become problems of increasing concern. Ensuring food, water, and fish stocks is a major challenge. Given that around 80% of the population of NTT relies on agriculture or fisheries for their living, the provincial government has made climate change adaptation a priority. Belakang ini, jadi perubahan iklim uh, mulai diletakkan sebagai isu strategis karena pengaruhnya ya terhadap kehidupan masyarakat Tusa Tenggara Timur sebagai provinsi kepulauan memang terasa betul. Nah, kita juga baru saja melakukan beberapa pemantauan di Tarakan Se dalam 30 tahun terakhir itu sudah pindah rumah harus uh, pindah rumah beberapa beberapa baris pohon kelapa dia menghitungnya uh, sekian baris kelapa pak saya sudah geser tiga kali nih rumah saya kan di situ misalkan itu masalah ini tidak bisa ditangani oleh satu sektor dia masih ditangani multi sektor dari berbagai bagai apa namanya instansi berbagai sektor harus harus bersinergi satu dengan yang lain The Ministry of Environment and the Regional Planning and Development Agency of NTT, in partnership with the United Nations Development Program, launched the SPARK project. With support from the Global Environment Facility, the project works to ensure local institutions and rural communities of NTT can cope with changes in climate. In addition, UNDP and the Swedish International Development Agency are supporting the province to conduct a climate public expenditure and institutional review. This exercise will allow knowing exactly how much the government is spending in activities to adapt to climate change. It will increase transparency of the provisional government, revealing trends and gaps to finance adaptation. At the national level, 
UNDP and UNEP are supporting the Indonesian Ministry of Finance to develop a budget tagging system to track financial flows to activities that adapt to climate change. Once adaptation activities have been identified and tagged, the system will be used to rate them based on how effective they are in increasing resilience to climate change. It is a way to identify how budget has been allocated, spent, and whether it contributed to increased resilience of communities and ecosystems. In addition, the Ministry of Environment created a Climate Change Vulnerability Index that makes use of geomapping technology to map vulnerabilities of cities, districts, and sectors. This vulnerability index could be an excellent tool if used coupled with the tagging system. It could allow the government to assign budgets based on vulnerability of areas or sectors, improving the life of people like Sinha.